Hello, everyone. Welcome to our mini Tradeway webinar. We've got lots of information for you, and I know many of you have been invited by someone that cared about what you think about us. And this is one way to get you going just a little bit. And we'll be able to dive deeper into it afterwards on a one-on-one -on -one call. But in the meantime, I want to introduce you to Ross Query. Oh, my name is Christy McLeod, by the way. I want to introduce you to Ross Query. He's a dear, dear, dear friend of mine, but also he is an amazing teacher. So he makes difficult terminology come across in a much more easy way to think about it. So he will get that through to you. He is a teacher, his profession, he's a professor um, at a big place up in Dallas and he teaches physical therapy. So he's, a, he's just an amazing teacher and that's what comes across with Tradeway. And he's been with us for many years, since 2010, he came in as a student. I came in as a student as well before he did. And we've been doing this together with a team in the Tradeway family for many, many years, over two decades. So find comfort in that knowing we've been around a very, very long time. And the Mitchell family has been my family since day one. And they're the ones that got me involved in this because I needed to get my husband out of work. He worked 90 hours a week and we thought, what can we do? And I thought numbers and stocks and computers, probably not a good match for me. And now here I am all these years later, addicted. So with all that said, I'm going to introduce you to Ross. He um, is going to give you a lot of information. So just know if you don't get it, it's okay. We can fill in the blanks later. So Ross, it's all yours. Great. Thank you, Christy. Thank you to everybody who's here this morning, afternoon, wherever you may be uh, around the world. Um, as Christy said, the purpose of this is that all of you were invited to consider what Tradeway may offer for you in terms of trading and something sparked in your minds a little bit about how trading may be something that would be beneficial for you and your family. So Christy asked me if I would get together uh, with all of us and do a little, just a little bit of an orientation to what Tradeway is about and what trading is about. Because as she said, I did start as a student. I'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. And trading has been a very powerful part of my life, and Tradeway has been a very, very big piece of that. So let's get started. So the focus of really this kind of short time we're going to spend together is really opening up the idea of how to kind of unlock the stock market. Uh, oftentimes, people look at the stock market as an opportunity. But there's a lot of apprehension. They don't. And there's a lot of things they don't understand. And there's a lot of uh, myths that are out there about the stock market. And I had some of those same elements when I was starting and when I was considering whether or not trading was gonna be something that I wanted to do. I hope for the next few minutes, we can kind of turn off the world. We can kind of tune in to learning what I have to share with you. Although in about a 45 minute or 60 minute presentation, I can only share a little bit, but I'm hoping it is something that will touch you and give you some insight into the opportunity that may, may be something that can change your life. So what's really the goal for today? One of the core themes will be the concept of using leverage. And leverage is the ability of being able to multiply effort or to multiply outcomes utilizing different elements that are in your life. So leverage is a good thing. And so we're gonna talk about how you can quickly learn to trade stocks. The idea is that there's a knowledge piece that's there, but I'll talk about some of the things that are different in how people think when they're beginning versus those that have kind of learned to master the idea of stock trading. Uh, we're going to talk about the idea how you can actually use a little to pursue a lot. That's a different form of leveraging in the idea of some of the things that the stock market provides for us. And then one of the things I really want to kind of, kind of sink in is that we don't really need to guess about how we want to potentially participate in the stock market. It's definitely not gambling. I'll talk a little bit about what that means. And it's also definitely not just kind of going forward and risking large amounts of potential financial risk in a way that may not be comfortable for us. So there's some real wisdom in these elements of leverage that I want to bring forward. Tradeway is designed. David Mitchell built Tradeway in 2006. David was is a pastor that really saw in his congregation that there were a lot of individuals who wanted to be able to further their wealth building for the kingdom but they didn't really have a skill set that was there. David's a fourth generation businessman, fourth generation oil bet man as well, built multiple levels of different businesses. And, he's, and he learned trading from his father and grandfather who were very, very wise investors. And David said, I wanna create something that is different. 
I want to create an educational program that can take people who do not know anything about trading or even those that maybe have learned to invest. And I want to be able to show them a Christian way and a pursuit that is going to be able to leverage their capacity of creating for their for themselves, for their family, for their churches, for their community. So he had a mission and that's how Tradeway was built and started in 2006. So we're coming up now in 2024 now, 18 years that Tradeway has been around in building out what is quite frankly, a very, very powerful educational platform. So kind of Christy gave you the quick and dirty. My name is Ross Query. Again, I'll be your host today. I'm actually one of Tradeway's core instructors as well. So I take this very serious because not only did I become a student of Tradeway, but I had the opportunity to then become one of the instructors for Tradeway. And as a professional educator, it's what I do in my real job all day, every day. I take it very serious on teaching individuals how to learn, but more important than learn, because when we hear the top kind of the concept of learning, a lot of people think that that's knowledge base. Sure, there has to be some knowledge to be able to learn how to do a skill, but in trading, the knowledge is just the foundation. It is the application of that knowledge that becomes the action that we're looking to be able to improve on and participate in, in the markets themselves. Markets don't pay money to those individuals who have a lot of knowledge. They pay money to individuals who have a lot of skill and knowing how to participate in the opportunity that the market provides. So I've mentioned a little bit kind of about where I came from. Uh, I do want to share a little bit more about that because I think you're going to find that I'm very similar to many of you. And that is I come from many of the same places that you guys are or may have been in the past. And I want to give you just a little bit of my background about what brought me to the place that I'm at now. Now, this is a picture, literally a picture of my drive to work every day. I live about 28 miles from where I work. And all the way back in 2009, if you think about it for a minute, remember what happened in 2008. We had a major stock market correction and many individuals, including myself, saw a significant reduction in their 401ks or 403bs or retirement funds because of what that bear market did. So I had been in my career for about 10 years at that point in 2009. And one day sitting in a line that looks really similar, guys, this picture is literally taken as part of the pathway that I take to work every day. I was sitting there like, oh, what is going on? And I calculated that up until that point, which was 10 years of my career, I had spent four years of 40 hour work weeks, just driving back and forth to work. Now, that's a lot of time and that's a lot of stress. Now, I love my job, I love my career. Matter of fact, I still do it today because I believe that God has me in this place for a purpose. But even though I love my job, I knew that I was trading a lot of my time for money. Whatever my job was gonna pay me, that's what I was able to earn. And I was not seeing how that pathway was going to continue to get me to where my goals were for my family. I wanted to be able to have a way of having my money leveraged to make me money. My time being traded for money versus my money being traded to give me more time. And that may resonate with a lot of you. So I had some goals. Now I had traded in the market, but at that point I hadn't had any formal education. So I didn't really feel prepared. Matter of fact, I felt really uncertain in how to do this properly. I had had minimal success, more things that I didn't know about or didn't know if I was doing it right than things that I felt I was doing well. But I did realize that there was an opportunity in the market. I watched and listened to business shows. I knew that there was opportunities. As a matter of fact, if you remember 2009, very, very robust bull market but on top of a pretty devastating bear market that happened in 2008. You could also think about this in 2020. You can think about this in 2022. All of us have felt that cycle of what happens in our markets that sometimes creates a great impact on us. So I wasn't pleased about where my financial advisors had positioned me and I asked them about it. And really they didn't have a lot of suggestion to me other than just the idea of, Ross, you're doing fine. If you think about the long term, think about 20 or 30 years down the line, we're going to kind of get you to where we think you need to be. Well, that just didn't quite, it didn't set well with me. Now, 
I didn't have any solutions other than just kind of focusing on this long-term growth. I did the calculations. I didn't like where it was go where I was going. And so I was introduced to Tradeway actually in early 2000, or excuse me, late 2009, early 2010. And I already as an expert in education and how to develop skill in the students that, that I teach, I saw something that I was drawn to quite extensively based off of how Tradeway's education worked. There was something that drew me there. Yes, I prayed about it. And something said, Ross, this sounds like something that may help you get to where you're wanting to go that you haven't been able to get to yet. So now, guys, remember back in 2010, when I started, technology was nowhere near educational development the way it is now, the way we have webinars and the ability to be able to do virtual training and to be able to be able to have thousands of students be able from coast to coast, be able to be on a webinar sharing and learning together was quite remarkable. So I started at a time that the elements of Tradeways education were solid, but they have been magnified multiple fold since then. So I was a student in that learning phase, practice phase, phase, skill phase, trading phase for about three years. And quite frankly, those three years changed my financial future in the way that I was able to plan for my family. I was able to plan for legacy. I was able to plan for the goals that we had to serve others in a very unique way. After about three years, Katie Huber, who's the chief operator or the chief executive officer, the CEO of a Tradeway, called me and said, Ross, we need a new instructor. We're growing. We'd like to have some advanced instructors come on board. Would you want to do that? And I said, that's fantastic. I jumped at that opportunity because I wanted to be able to take the skill set that I already knew in terms of teaching and apply that with the skill set the Tradeway had already taught me in terms of trading to be able to help as many people as possible have the same opportunity that I had to learn. And that is the real vision and mission behind what Tradeway does and why I do what I do for Tradeway. So guess what, guys? At this point, I don't really worry about the next 2008 or the next 2020 or the next 2022 or maybe the next 2024 where we think there's going to be a robust potential of a recession or a bear market. I don't worry about that anymore because I now have a skill set that allows me to be able to participate regardless of what the market is able to do. I have a wisdom and a skill set that lets me know if things aren't working in the market the way we might like, what are the opportunities for us to be able to manage that risk and still potentially have the opportunity to prosper in those environments that in most cases, most people don't have the skill set to be able to do. That's what I would like for you guys to have in your future as well. So three main things that I want to kind of focus on, three secrets that we'll discuss here briefly, is the secret in how to choose stocks, the secret in how to find the right buy points and sell points when we enter the idea of participation in the stock market, and then the secret of how you develop mastery in those elements. Now, all three of these secrets will have a component of leverage that comes with them. Now, Tradeway is an organization that feels very strongly that the most powerful tool that improves our life, without a doubt, is God's word through the Bible. And what is quite interesting is that all three of the secrets that I'm going to talk and share with you today actually have a biblical perspective grounded in them. You may not see a story in the Bible that's talking about the participation in a stock market, but the secrets that we use to leverage the benefit of participating in the market are actually grounded in good business practices and actually grounded in biblical principles that were shared throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament. All right, so let's take a look at these. So when you think about secret number one, knowing what stocks to trade, the problem is, is that most people think that they have to watch the market every minute of every day or every day. They spend years learning a new skill set and they become business experts in thinking about what is the stock going to do. And so this leads them to kind of be concerned of what's the market's going to do, or if they don't ever learn that skill set, they don't know what else to do. So they give their money to somebody else, a financial advisor. And so they become very passive in how to manage their money. And therefore, they leave it to the experts to trade or invest it. Well, many of you know what that has done for you over the time period that you've used a financial advisor. And that's one of the things that I was working to get away with. So one of the common themes that you'll hear me talk about over the next few minutes is the difference between an amateur and a master. 
Now, I'm going to expand a little bit on the term amateur. There's a word that I like better than amateur, although it's not an inaccurate word when any when all of us are beginning something that we don't know. So the difference between amateurs and masters is in the key and the secret that we're talking about here is the ability of developing and utilizing a system. And the system is designed to carry the heavy lifting for the task, whatever that task happens to be. In this case with trading, the system is what brings information to us that then allows us to act on that information. Now, we have to go out and look a little bit. We have to build our systems. We have to understand our systems. But systems and systems that are in place give us a structure that allows us to amplify those opportunities. So amateurs often get lost in kind of the minutia or the, the, the minute to minute. And they're looking for stocks and they're trying to guess what's going on. They're listening to news. They're listening to too much information coming from too many different places. And it doesn't allow them to have a system of understanding quality of the stock or the quality of the opportunity. Where what masters do along the journey of that education is to leverage time-saving systems. Now, guys, I think that's very important. Time-saving systems to free up their time to be able to find the best investments faster and without having to guess, because once the system is established, the proper information is provided for them. One of the great examples of this in the Bible is actually found in Exodus 18, where Jethro helps Moses leverage a system. And Moses, at this point, he was in his act, in his task as a judge, he was judging other people. And Honestly, if you read through Exodus 18, it kind of says that he was tapped out for time. He was overloaded. It was, he was unable to be able to fulfill really all the different job requirements that he needed, and he was overwhelmed. And literally, Jethro came along and encouraged him to be able to set up some time-saving systems. Now, when you read through that, the system that Jethro encouraged Moses to do was to train other people to do the same job that Moses was doing. In that case, helping judge and providing judgment, not judgment, but as a judge for the people, helping them solve the problems. So the leverage of the system there was for him to recreate a mechanism that his job would be able to be leveraged by others or a system of benefiting others. Okay, now in the stock market, that would mean we want to have a system where what we need is information about stocks, information about good stocks, information about what might be stocks that are more likely to go up at this point, since we're in a, if we're in a bullish market, we need to have ways that information comes to us. Now, I like this little diagram here. And we see this pedestal, this kind of step-by-step -step icon, you might think. And I think it's important that the deviation of understanding the difference between an amateur and a word that I like a little bit better, which is a beginner. So, I know we use the word amateur, but I like the word beginner better. The main difference between an amateur and a beginner is that the beginner is someone who is new to something, while an amateur can be someone who is inexperienced or unskilled. But I think one of the biggest differentiations between an amateur and a beginner is the purpose or the skill that they're using. So a beginner is someone who is brand new, as I was, as many of you may be, brand new to something, and they're still in their learning phase. For example, if you know if you think about it, something completely separate from trading, a beginner in swimming, they're going to go through swimming lessons, and they might they will need to practice. But as they continue to practice skills of having their face on the water, being able to know how to breathe properly, they start to develop a skill set that makes their task of swimming far easier. So a beginner is really somebody that is starting out new in knowledge and new in skill. The amateur is someone who engages in an activity. And one of the ways it's often looked at, in other words, for master might be professional, but the activity is more for pleasure rather than maybe for serious financial benefit or for professional reasons. For example, somebody might just play soccer because they like to play soccer, but they have no intention, they have no ambition of being able to become a professional soccer player, basically being able to be paid for the skill set that they have. So the intent is the key. And I would like to think of all of us, if we're looking to participate in the market, yeah, you can participate in investing in the market or trading kind of like a hobby, a little bit of extra income here and there. But a lot of people are looking to have a much more purposeful intent 
when they are in the market. And so therefore they're really looking towards the idea of really becoming more of a master or what I would say as a professional where they are, they are truly looking for the market to give back to them a return on their efforts and a return on their wisdom, knowledge, and skills that quite frankly can change their lives. Some people want to do it to supplement their income. Some people want to replace their income. Some people want to have a very different lifestyle when they retire, when normally most people are reducing their standard of living to be able to work with whatever resources they have, have accumulated at that point where the master or the professional looks at how to take those assets and let their assets work for them in a way that maybe doesn't diminish their standard of living, but still magnifies their standard of living. So when you hear me say amateur and master, think about beginner or professional. But what I do like about this picture is it is in stages. There is a development that has to happen with that. So how do we do that in the stock market? Well, when you're looking for stocks that are wanting to grow, one of the things that we look at is that we want to find those companies that are growing well. Now, you can become very overwhelmed. You look at financial information. Okay. And I know that I was. I know without a doubt, one of the things that I was hearing about finding fundamentally sound growth stocks, and in this particular case, seeing that their earnings, everybody hears about earnings season, earnings were growing over time. Well, one of the challenges with that is it takes a lot of knowledge. You'll see in this particular I'll zoom in here real quick. So if we look, let me back up, there we go. If we zoom in and we're looking basically right in here, we're like basically looking at seeing what the earnings of this stock, and this stock happened to be Apple. And we see all the way back there from Q3 2023, all the way up to the second quarter in 2024, Apple's earnings were increasing as those are the types of companies that we might like to invest in. So one of the ways that we would leverage is that we would leverage of having a system and we have tools that do this to kind of allow us in a very quick way to evaluate a lot of information very quickly to be able to find those opportunities that we think are going to be the most important to us. So I don't just want any stock. I want stocks that show the best opportunity for future growth based off what they've done in the past. I'm going to say that again because it's something you've heard me say a couple of times here. What's happened in the past, giving us some indication of what will happen in the future. Okay. Now, another type of system that we might look at here is looking at stocks that have good value. Now, if you're an investor or you like to buy stocks, many of you have heard of the concept of a P-E ratio. Well, P-E ratios can tell us what the kind of true value or real value of the, of the stock is relative to its earnings, which is the amount of money that a company is making, compared to the price that we pay for it. But what you'll learn in investing is that P-E ratios can give us some real understanding of are they overpriced, are they priced fairly, are they underpriced. Tradeway is about trading as well. But one of the things that you will find is that trading is a little different than investing. And often we want to find companies that have great potential for future growth. And that may mean that they're a little bit higher on the PE ratio. A PE ratio is reflecting something about the price that may also give us some indication about where that stock may go in the future. So we have systems in place, part of Tradeway's education. Actually, through one of our pieces of technology, Tradeway has built a charting program. And it's more than a, it's a whole lot more than a charting program that's called Charts by Tradeway. Now, the only individuals who get to have access to this remarkable tool are those individuals that are part of our educational programs. But in charting by Tradeway, in charts by Tradeway, we can set certain filters that are there. We can create a system of where charts by Tradeway brings to us the types of stocks that create the types of information, opportunities, and growth that we're looking for. So it is a big part of the system to bring forward to us to evaluate what are good companies? And it does it in a very robust way. It does it in a way that can be very visual because a lot of people don't want to dig through a lot of different financial information. Although if you're that accountant, if you're that value investor, if you're that individual that loves fundamentals, charts is an amazingly depth, an amazingly deep opportunity to be able to go into financial depth and evaluate companies. But on the surface, I don't need to be able to have that knowledge, but the system is there to tell us the stocks that may have the best opportunities moving forward. So secret number one, 
leveraging a system of bring opportunity to us. Secret number two, when to buy and sell. Okay. Now, again, the problem with most new traders or most people here is that they think that only the wealthy can kind of make stock trading work. They think that somehow you got to have the inside scoop of what's going to happen. They look towards information other than their own knowledge to tell them when to buy and when to sell because they think trading is gambling because nobody knows the future. Well, one of the things that's quite powerful is this is one of the three legs of Tradeways philosophy. And one of those legs is called technical analysis. And what you find in technical analysis is that I don't need to know the future. What I need to know is what's happened in the past. And by knowing what the stock has been doing in the past, it often gives us very good insight into what the stock will do in the future. And you'll see this in a pretty profound way in just a couple of minutes. So what's the leverage here? In this case, the key is leveraging a system and technology. It's leveraging the past to determine what will happen in the future for then fine tuning for us when is the best time to enter with risk in the market. See, a lot of people think they have to be in the market all of the time in order to be able to participate and get any kind of profit and, and, and growth. And actually it's almost the opposite of that. We want to strategically place our financial resources at risk when the conditions in the stock say there is a better possibility and probability that the stock is gonna move up from here. That's the secret of the leverage. And in many cases, there's only certain times when it's better to be in the market with a particular stock. So the way that we create this opportunity is that amateurs are often trapped into thinking they have to work harder to create wealth. They do this to try, you know, they, they do this by trying to do stock trading. They do it by trying to do, you know, reading on the internet or listening to the news. And we've learned, and I've learned it by experience over many years, often those are not accurate incentives and accurate information that's going to give us the best opportunity to maximize profit potential while minimizing risk. The master side of that is that as a wealth mindset of placing leverage to earn off of the potential of placing risk in the market. Now guys, you've all experienced a bear market in the past. We know that we'll have bear markets in the future. Question is, what's that pain level that you have that without any form of knowledge or skill set, what do you do when the best the next bear market comes around? What do you do to be able to protect your wealth? One of the things that Tradeway does is not only teach how to trade, but in our longer term investing money, it also teaches us a way to understand when it is better to be in the market and when it is better to basically keep risk out of the way. So that one of the things I often say is, you see a light at the end of the tunnel. How do you determine whether or not the light at the end of the tunnel is the sunshine or the light at the end of the tunnel is a freight train getting ready to hit you and do financial impact to you? It is a big part of Tradeway's philosophy is growing our wealth by also managing our risk at the same time. So we do this in a very strategic fashion. Well, if you think about a biblical principle in 2 Kings 4, and there are several different examples in 2 Kings, but one of them was the woman with her oil. Matter of fact, the woman with the oil, she had very, very little, but in, and actually, in fact, she was in debt. She owed money. Well, she actually created more debt in creating a business because she went out and leveraged debt in order to buy the jars. Then she took the jars. She used the oil that she had, yes, with the blessing from God that, that the jars were full. But then what she did after she filled the jars is she then sold the jars, leveraged the jars, leveraged the debt in a way that she paid back the debt and created a opportunity for her to be able to make a living as well. So this shows how leveraging systems can help us utilize business debt in the right way, utilize growth of debt to pay off debt. Most of us have debt in a way that we want to try and manage. And at the same time, create a business opportunity that allows us to leverage a profit and be able to change our lives moving forward. So it's how to leverage business debt appropriately. Now, I want to give you some examples here. Now, guys, these are academic examples. The stocks that are used in these slides are for educational purposes only. So you have to have the education and the support that you would need to understand these decisions a little differently 
or to the level that we would, you would ever participate in. And I'm using examples that are very, very recent. So this isn't something that we're going back and historically looking in the past. So the what to do in this step is that you, you need to understand the, the what to do step, and that is to learn how to leverage the technology of giving us better opportunities for when to enter a trade, okay? We wanna be able to do that in a way that tradeway system is that we will always know our entries based off of at least three different properties around the stock to give us a better probability of what the stock is gonna do in the future. So we, we only leverage entry when we have the right conditions for a better probability, not a guarantee. There's no guarantee in the market. There's no guarantee that any trade or investment will work. We wanna put a better probability to our side. Often we will use something that we call market tone, which is another one of the legs of the three-legged stool and looking at and analyzing how the overall S&P 500, which is, the, which is the, the best indicator or index of what the global market is doing, 500 of the largest companies in the world in the United States. And we will find that often what is happening in the S&P 500 will also influence what is happening, happening in stocks. So we put more than one force in place to give us a little bit of an edge, not just blindly going in because the news came out and said that a certain stock is anticipating to go up, not because of somebody on a news report said, I think you should buy, but actually having a technical system that anticipates where better entry points may be. So we know when to enter. And actually one of the things that's most powerful is that we teach that when you enter a trade, we will know exactly when we exit the trade, both for a profit or if the trade does not work, we will control the expense to be a very small expense. So we know our exits before we ever enter the trade. That's one of the things that deviates it from gambling. When somebody gambles, if you think about what typically is in gambling, they place risk, typically monetary risk, with no control of the outcome and no ability to be able to manage that risk once they are participating in the event. That's not the way we stock trade. We do not gamble. We structure a trade that has reasonable profit opportunity, but we also know if things do not work out right, how we're gonna manage that trade and close for a very small expense. And therefore we're looking to win larger and lose smaller. And we have a very specific way that we teach students to be able to do that. And it's quite powerful. It's one of the things that takes knowledge and develops it into skill. The other thing that's quite powerful is that we will often use automated entry, not entries, but automated exits. Guys, most of the time when I do a trade, I work full time. I already have a structure in my technology that is going to exit that trade for the profit potential or the expense potential automatically. I don't even have to be around to do it. Therefore, we're leveraging my time. I'm using my technology to leverage and be my trading partner. And I already know what the risk and the reward of the trade were before we went in and it was acceptable. So again, we are looking to lever leverage technology in a way that gives us a very different perspective than how most people learn to trade. Okay. And then within our education, there are multiple elements that support this. The three-legged stool that I've talked about. We have what are called market watch webinars every week in the live market, looking what the market is doing, showing different patterns that may be opportunities to enter trades there and being able to follow those trades every week, all week long. So traders that are part of our education program are not left independent to be able to make the decisions. We have multiple mechanisms of students to be able to ask questions, to engage with coaches about trades that they're thinking about, to participate in weekly webinars, to actually see what trades may be setting up, as a matter of fact, we even have checklists that allow somebody when they're brand new to be able to check off the things that they should be thinking about to make sure that they're, those things are in place before they ever put their money at risk. We even have a way that every day, Monday through Thursday, in the last hour the market is open, students can actually call in, they can give their trading ideas, and those trading ideas can be evaluated by one of the coaches to be able to see does it make sense? Are there things that you're thinking about that you may not have looked at? Are there things that you're looking at that maybe are beneficial or maybe there's some things that you didn't think about? So this idea of developing skill by frequent repeated reinforcement of knowledge is quite powerful. And it's one of the things that makes Tradeway very, very different than many trading educational opportunities. All right, everybody knows Coke. 
So I'm going to bring up an example of a chart on Coca-Cola. So when you guys look at this, it's kind of relatively easy to see. Some of you may have even not ever seen a chart pattern. We're going to teach you what that looks like because there's a lot of power in the chart pattern. So it's relatively easy to see that the stock is kind of going up, but the, maybe it's not so clear as to where the opportunities for entering and exiting the trade would be. And, and I understand. I remember the first time that I looked at a chart, it was like, okay, I can kind of see which direction, but I don't know how to, how to use that. I don't know how to trade that. Okay. So the trader's power is in having a foundation of basic, tech, basic technical analysis, which we teach. And it's a fundamental skill that will change forever the way you look at stock charts and be able to build on that knowledge and practice that skill, right? So what does that look like? So what to do? So what we would want, what, what the student would do, building their expertise and skill, is you want to define areas where the price changes direction. This floor is often referred to as support, okay? Well, technical analysis, there's a couple of ways to do it. It's one of the three system components that I mentioned earlier. So we teach students how to discover high probability trade opportunities with limited risk and solid profit potentials. So what's this look like? Well, what I've done here, guys, is I've added some specific technical analysis. And oh, by the way, this is automated. This is not something the student has to do. These are indicators which are very, very common that are called exponential moving averages or EMAs. And what this starts to reveal is, guys, you can see at the chart now, you can actually see where there are points on these lines that it seems like somehow by magic, chart or the stock is pivoting off of these particular moving averages. Rather interesting. We start to see a little bit of structure to the idea of where the stock is moving and where the stock is bouncing off of. Right. So now what we can do is we can add to that technical analysis along with those automated lines. One of the skills that's quite powerful is to be able to look at a chart and be able to draw lines of where we see price pivoting. Okay. Now, guys, where this price pivots is where we would typically look at as a higher probability to enter the trade. So what you actually see here is that where we would actually enter this trade is only at very strategic, specific points, whereas somebody who doesn't have the skill set is trying to figure out, is the stock going to go up from here? We're strategically finding a point where do we think the stock has a better opportunity to go up from here? And that helps control risk. And that helps control reward. So what you see, both by the moving averages and the lines that are drawn, the line that is drawn here, is very strategic places identified by the arrows but where we would have an entry. And you will notice that after each of these entries, the stock made a very nice progression up. We would then sell when we get to the top of a moving channel. I didn't draw that line on here, but that would be what's called resistance. That's where we would take our profits and we would wait for the next buying opportunity, the next entry opportunity, the next sell opportunity, the next entry opportunity, the next sell opportunity. This is the mag magic of technical analysis. Okay. Now, I mentioned that the past is important for the future. Okay, so there is no doubt that technical analysis is a foundation of the way for us to understand where to enter. This concept is easy to grasp, but definitely takes some knowledge and some skill and time to be able to develop. But there's another very powerful aspect of technical analysis on many stocks. So guys, this is what happened over those few months. Look at how amazing this is, that technical patterns of the past often come forward in the future to provide continued support in new price areas. So imagine looking at this information in the past, moving forward with now new time and look at what happened when the same line was hit, drawn from what happened in the past, yep. pivot point, pivot point, pivot point. Each one of those opportunities to a, from a stock trading perspective or even an option trading perspective, absolutely would teach how to use options in a leveraged way to magnify profits, okay? In a way that be able to, is, is in a way that we would be able to strategically know when to enter and when to exit, okay? So that's a stock that's moving up. Well, guess what? Not all stocks move up all the time. And when we have invested the way we have in the past, we get caught in that. So here's an example of Visa. So guys, now I've drawn this, drawn this channel in a little bit different way and I've been able to highlight it for you. 
I hope that you can kind of see the pivot points, the points where the stock was coming down and bouncing up, coming down and bouncing up, coming down and bouncing up. And believe it or not, we would enter this trade actually not on the bottom pivot point, but on the top where we're seeing resistance and we anticipate the stock is going to go down because overall the stock is moving down. So what do we do? Well, when a stock is moving down, you, you can't buy the stock. We don't short stock. But what you can do by learning options is that you can learn to buy what is called a put option. And a put option increases in value when the value of the stock price moves down. Now, hopefully a light bulb goes off with that. The capacity to be able to make money in a market or in a stock that is moving down in price is one of the major, major game changers of what learning and trading education and skill set can do for a student. Just imagine, think of your own lives, what you would do, how you would think about the market if you knew you had the ability to take advantage whether or not the stock was moving up, whether or not the market and the stock was moving down. All of a sudden, I'm not as concerned about what the market does because I have a skill set that can potentially be profitable regardless of what the market does. And that is a very freeing skill set. That is a very freeing knowledge foundation that has an application that, quite frankly, I have to kind of be quiet every once in a while around the office because if the market's going down, I'm okay. It's not that I'm happy per se, but I'm happy in the perspective that I've got opportunity where everybody else is worried because they know what's happening in their 401ks and 403bs where I have a different skill set. Our traders have a different skill set. Okay. So I also want you to pay attention here that the blue shaded area, and I shaded that on purpose, that's what happened during these few months. Look at what happened in the five months before that downtrend. This same stock in Visa had a very, very nice uptrend. So we would have had a different way, same skill set, to participate when the market was going up and also to participate when the market and the stock was going down. Now, do you think that that kind of skill set can change your financial future? I hope you do, because it's one of the things that really worries people is what do we do when the next, the next bear market comes around? What do we do when the market is going down? You have different skill sets. That's what you do. You have different ways of applying those skill sets in a way that it doesn't matter which way the market's going, we have the opportunity to be able to participate. Now, I've shown you a stock that moves up, shown you a stock that moves down. This last example is also something that happens in stocks. Sometimes they go nowhere. Sometimes they go nowhere. Guys, do you see the pivot points, first of all, in the lines that I've drawn here? We can see where it's pivoting, but back here, the stock was at $15. Seven months later, the stock is still at $15. So if somebody had invested in this stock, anticipating that it was going to do something, quite frankly, over seven months, they gave themselves heartburn because they saw the stock go up and they saw the stock drop down and probably drop down right back to where they got in. They saw the stock go up, saw the stock drop down. They saw the stock going up and they may, may have even bought when it was at its high, only to see it come back down. So this is the psychological warfare that many students get themselves in, or I should say not students, but many individuals who haven't learned to trade, don't have a skill set, don't have a structure. It's the warfare they place by not knowing what the stock is going to do in the future. Yet by technical analysis, which I'm showing you right here, you've got a pretty good indication of what the stock is doing. So using tradeways methods, traders could have potentially made a 100% return on investment if they just bought the stock. Because we would have bought the stock here and sold the stock up here and bought the stock here and sold the stock here and bought the stock and sold the stock and bought the stock and sold the stock. We were creating opportunity when others were clueless as to what to do. That would have been a 100% return on the stock okay, over the same seven month period of time. Learning to do the exact same element with options learning how to use a call option to be able to participate when the stock is moving up, we use an option as to the stock, reduces our risk, reduces our investment, and at the same time, an option trade on this trade over those seven months would have returned approximately a 600% return on the investment. It's crazy. Low investment and 600% return on investment. Guys, 
most people are happy with their financial advisors making them six or seven percent in a year. Mm-hmm. And on this single investment, this single stock, which would be a small portion of our portfolio, we're making 600 percent on a stock that actually went nowhere over seven months. That is leveraging a system. Awesome. So I love this quote by Ralph Waldo Waldo Emerson. The mind once stretched to a new idea never returns to its original dimensions. I hope for some of you that might be a little bit new to trading, you just saw some things that you're like, wow, I didn't know that. And if I understood how to apply that, quite frankly, I could see the change. Quite frankly, I could see the way that I could make different amounts of income. I could change the way I manage my portfolio. I could look for opportunities of growing my portfolio in ways that I did not know before. And that's what happens along your trading journey. Everything is a journey and everything is a step-by-step stretching of your mind and stretching of your skill set. And once that happens, you never go back. I am a much better trader today than I was five years ago. I was a better trader five years ago than the day that I started. Learning is a journey and skill sets are a journey that we do together. What's the last secret per se? The last secret is to leverage education and leverage training with mentorship and coaching. Great example of this is found in Second Judges, where now Moses mentors Joshua. And then as people entered the promised land, what Moses did to invest in Joshua, Joshua is then able to invest in his people. And then after Joshua's death, the elders who outlived him also were able to mentor and participate and create benefit in people's lives. Now, if you go back through Judges, which is a tough book to read, we see this vicious cycle. Mentorship, people prospering, the mentors go away, the coaches go away, people don't continue to use the coaching and mentorship, get themselves in trouble. God brings new mentors, God leverages mentorship and coaching, brings them back in favor, and we get prosperity. Now, guys, again, nobody can guarantee what the stock market will do next week, but guess what? We have a plan. One of the key pieces that's inside Tradeway's educational structure is that all of our students have access to coaching. There are at least four different ways that students can engage with coaches. They have a question about knowledge or information. They have a question about a stock. They're thinking about basically putting on a trade. They want somebody to look at it and give them feedback. There are multiple ways of engaging with a coach. A coach or a mentor leverages how fast you experientially develop your skill sets. I mentioned also that we have webinars every week, okay? So the difference in the amateur versus the master is that the masters leverage expertise or along that journey of moving from a beginner, you leverage the expertise of other individuals. Every week, not only may I be teaching a class, but every week on Thursday nights, we have webinars where individuals come in and they can ask any questions they want to. And we take a deeper dive both in the application and the education understanding, but the application in the market. So this is not an educational program where we are separated away from our students. This is an education we are collaboratively working together with our students. We have our own community page, which is a, an ability of everybody to being able to share ideas and, ans- and ask and get questions answered. So one of the reasons that I have been willing and excited about being part of Tradeway for the last now over 10 years of teaching is because as a teacher, I love the way Tradeway is always there for students in one way or another. There's never a student who should be stalled on their ability of moving forward. One of the other things that when you speak to Christy, when we follow up here and you guys want a little bit more information about how Tradeway's programs work, and I wasn't able to share in this very short period of time, is that Christy will outline for you the ability of the way the different programs work and the way the different coaching opportunities work. And different students, have different goals and there are different forms of educational programs that we have. One of the things that I want you to think about is that learning is long-term. Learning is lifelong learning. And when somebody invests in Tradeway education, they have access to their education forever, which means they can come back and retake classes. When my students invest in classes here at the university, once they finish the class, that's it. They don't get to come back. Now, I want you to think about the idea of what college education costs the investment cost of college education. People spend 
tens of thousands of dollars, 50,000. Some students, if they're going to private schools, are spending $100,000 or more to be able to get an education, which is quite frankly, a knowledge base, usually not even a skill base, and a piece of paper that says they can go out and use what they've learned to somehow get, make a living or make money for what they've learned. Um, one of the reasons that I like Tradeway is because I love the idea that students can come back next year, next month, next week, retake a course that they need to engage with coaching in the way they want to, and every step of the way, they're simply getting better. Tradeway also has something that I've never seen before, which is what I call legacy learning. For those of you that have children under the age of 25 that still live with you at home, definitely high school, I can't imagine if I had learned what I've learned when I was 18, 19, 20 years old. When you guys speak with Christy, Christy will be able to outline what Tradeway's family plan is because David said, I want to leverage family legacy. So when somebody, when, when a group, when a family joins Tradeway, if they have younger children that are still at home with them, Tradeway allows those children to be able to have access to their educational materials for the rest of their life as well. Therefore, generating legacy leadership, legacy mentorship, and legacy financial impact. So it is one of the things that I love significantly about Tradeway. So I've shared three predominant secrets. The secrets how to find growth stocks at a discount, leveraging technology, information coming to us. I've talked about how to find proper buy and sell points, syncing the S&P 500, <laughs> leveraging trading systems. So now we know when we may want to enter and how we manage risk and reward. And I've even mentioned the third secret per se is how we leverage learning through training and mentorship and coaching. All three of these are just a surface level of looking at the depth of what Tradeway provides for us. Okay. I hope that you can see, each of you can see how each of these could be able to help you be more successful. Now, Tradeway has several different courses in terms of the curriculums that they have that meet a lot of different people in every place. Without a doubt, our most popular course, without a doubt that students enroll in, would be our master trader. Christy is gonna have the opportunity of describing for you guys a little bit deeper on the different elements of the different coaches. This was designed to be a little bit of an introduction to what Tradeway's philosophy is and the purpose behind what our education is. But I couldn't share everything in this short interview with you all. It's an opportunity for you to be able to follow up with Christy and she is an expert. She has been with Tradeway forever. She's one of the most awesome people. And guys, she shoots straight with you. She's going to ask you what your goals are. She's going to ask you what your needs are. She's going to ask you what you want to do. And she's going to recommend for you the ways of being able to participate in the education that fits well for you. I want you to notice in all three of these educational components to it, not only is there course content, yes, more courses, more education, more skill building is provided in our larger curriculums which you have for a lifetime, but all of them also have a significant amount of coaching and support and webinar access over the period of time that you're learning those skill sets. And actually, even after this period of time is up, time is up if students still want to participate in webinars and support coaching, they can continue those support coaching programs on their own, okay, yeah. without a doubt. So I, I want you to simply think about and imagine what your future could look like. Guys, 2024 is finishing up. We've got interest rates that are potentially going to change here in a couple of weeks. We don't know what that's going to do to the market, whatever the Fed announcements are. We've got a presidential election that's coming up. There's all kinds of pieces of information out there that talk about what happens in presidential cycles. Uh, I can tell you that, yes, often with presidential cycles, doesn't matter who wins, the market tends to react. There is still a strong element of understanding what's happening in our economy and some concerns about recession coming. And if we get that recession, I think we all know what will happen in the market. Yep. What would your life look like if you felt you had a little bit more knowledge and more important than the knowledge, a skill set that allows you to be able to manage no matter what happens in the market in a different way than you've been able to do in the past? What's that worth to you over the next year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years? Okay. Education that you invest in one time. My students pay tuition. They, tu they pay tuition one time. They get the knowledge that they need and they go out and they leverage that tuition and leverage their knowledge for their career. 
They don't get to come back. They don't get to relearn. Okay. In the market that changes all the time, imagine investing one tuition cost. My students, oh, by the way, I work in a doctoral program. So by the time my students have finished their education to go out and become a physical therapist, most of them have invested anywhere between forty dollars and $120,000 in their college education in order to be able to get the skill set necessary to get a piece of paper that says I can go become a physical therapist. So many of us have put, through, put kids through school, grandkids through school. We know the investment of education pays over its lifetime and the reimbursement and the return on that investment continues to pay over a lifetime, without a doubt. So think about that. So the easiest way to be able to get a hold of Christy is to simply hit this QR code. This QR code will send you directly to a calendar link for Christy so that she can book a call with you to be able to spend 30 or 45 minutes, whatever you want, whatever you need, whatever she thinks you need as you communicate together. And I'm gonna have her comment on this in just a second, anything she wants you to know. But this is the best way to find out more, one, what your goals are, where your drive is, what are you trying to do? Are you looking to replace income? Are you looking to replace your job? Are you looking to manage your retirement? Where are you in your phase of life? Because everybody's in a slightly different place. I can only echo that I have never for a minute doubted the investment that I made in my trading education with Tradeway in 2010 and what it has leveraged for me over the last 14 years of my life and the next 14 years of my life, God willing. So take a call there, shoot that or scan that QR code, set a call with Christy, and let's see where she can help you go. Now, for those of you that stuck around for this particular webinar up till now, I'm very happy that you've done that. And I want to leave one more thing with you. Okay? And you, when you watch this, you can come back to this because I want to give you a little bit of a thank you. Now, I want to show you that when you're thinking about how you're going to become educated in any skill, I want to leave with you 10 keys to learning that lasts. And notice the topic is learning that lasts. Now, this is be for stock trading. This can be for anything. But this is what you strive for. And this is what you look for in the educational program. Number one, a deep understanding that goes beyond knowledge, principles that are taught, concepts of skill that are taught, interconnections of new information. Now, that builds on what you already know. Remember our little paradigm of the amateur step-by-step -step to the master. Deeper understanding happens over time. Number two, consistent practice. Knowledge is not how you become a trader. Knowledge builds skills. Skills become applicable and application in the market is how you become a trader. So you need regular, deliberate, variable context, markets new every day, situations. You need mixed techniques to reinforce and apply the skill set that you're learning. Number three, real learning requires feedback. Constructive feedback from your peers, from coaches, from experts that can identify areas of your strength and identify areas of your growth. Think about how a coach could best help you. We have students who know nothing about the stock market. As a matter of fact, I think it's one of the biggest sweet spots that Tradeway has in terms of an education company is that we will take somebody who knows nothing about the market and take them step by step. For those of you that know about the market that have some experience, you can move through those basic foundational elements and get to the elements that are going to be more powerful for you. But along the way, everybody needs feedback. Number two, reflection. This is a little bit more personal. This is a personal deep dive on what you have learned. What is working for you? What is not working for you? Where are the gaps? We often talk about that different traders have different personalities. Some are more risk conscious. Some are more profit conscious. Some are more aggressive. Some are more conservative. We, we feel that we have a way to take anybody across that continuum and be able to help them move forward, but it does take some personal reflection and commitment on your side to help us know what you need and what your goals are. And speaking of goals, number five is goal setting. Without concrete goals, you are just on an unknown road without a map. The destination mm -hmm. is everything. Without setting a goal, you don't know where you're going and you don't know where you get there. So we will do quite a bit on teaching goals, trading goals, trading plans, ways to be able to build your financial worth in a way that is specific to you. Number six, 
a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the acceptance, very deep acceptance of your desire and your ability to learn. You need to be coachable. If you're not coachable, if you're not willing to learn, if you're not willing to embrace the challenges and view and view failure not as a bad thing, failure is simply not meeting the objective. But if you're not willing to embrace that we're going to have trades that don't work and practice and look at that as an opportunity to grow, trading is going to be difficult for you. So we have to open our minds to the idea. Matter of fact, many of us will talk about when we're teaching you that mindset and the psychology of trading is far more powerful and important than the fundamental skills and looking at the chart. We are the greatest asset. What's between your ears and in your heart is the greatest asset you will ever have to learn how to trade. We can teach the knowledge. We can teach the skills. You have to have the mindset. Part of that mindset is an attitude of persistence. You have to stay committed to your end goal, even if progress is slow and even if obstacles rise. Guys, I've been able to do this with working a full-time job and having a very, very busy schedule. So what I look for is the ability to overcome the challenges. That's the key to mastering the skill. Okay. Someday when I retire from my job here, my trading world will look different. But right now, it has been very powerful in changing myself, my family, the blessings that we've had to be able to change the goals that we have to meet God's mission over the last 14 years for sure. It takes real world application. This is what I call experiential learning. One of the cool things about trading is that you don't you can start with any amount of money, although it takes a certain amount of money to to trade and create more money. But to learn the skill set, you actually get to start with no money because we will teach virtual trading or what is typically referred to as paper trading which allows you to practice all the skills in the real market with no financial risk. The only risk is your ego. The only risk is the practice. Okay, Every professional athlete in the world who makes millions and millions of dollars still practices. So real world application and experiential learning are quite, quite powerful. Actively using the knowledge and the skills in the real world, in the trading market, solidifies your knowledge and improves your proficiency. We provide opportunities to do this every week. Number nine is explaining to others. If you can explain to somebody else what your thinking is, explain to your coach, explain to a mentor, explain to somebody else that is experienced, one of your colleagues, one of your other students, when you can explain it, not necessarily teach it, but when you, when you can explain it, it reinforces your own understanding. It reinforces and highlights any gaps, and it reinforces your ability to apply what your thought process is. So that's why we often encourage individuals, you've got a trade, Put together your thoughts, know what you have, know why you're doing it, contact a coach, have a discussion with them, tell them what you're thinking, get their feedback. That's how we develop things. That's how we develop skill. And number 10, be willing to be a lifelong learner. There is no end point of a skill. There is no end point of the market. The market will be different tomorrow. The market will be different in December of 2024. The market will be different in 2025. So lifelong learning focuses you on seeking to continually improve, to be adaptable, and to be open to new methods as the environment changes. So 10 lifelong learning elements for learning that lasts, and I hope that helps you when you think about the journey that you may go forward with. All right, Christy, that's what I've got to say. What would you like to share with our group? Well, thank you, Ross. I think that was a lot, but it wasn't, I mean, it's amazing what you can get done in an hour, but there's a lot more information. But what I did want to add, first of all, is <clears throat> thank you, obviously, for being such a wonderful man and for everybody that attended. But also, I'm I'm not a one-man team over here. I've got a bunch of us that you'll be hearing from. We've got Lisa, we've got Jeremy, we've got Tanner, we've got Rob, We've got Sean. There's a bunch of, bunch of us that you're going to hear from. And Rachel set, sets up a lot of the appointments from us for us. So just know, I did tell everybody, Tanner, Sean, Jeremy, Rob, and Lisa. So all of us together, you'll hear from one of us sooner or later. Um, if you do click on my link, though, I'll make sure everybody gets, gets in, some information to you. But with all that said, it's been a journey for my husband and I. We started teaching 12 years ago. I taught first. So all you women out there, just know women make good traders. You know why, Ross? They control their emotions better than men. <laughs> no, because we listen. <laughs> That's why we're good listeners. So anyway, yeah, we got to trade like robots for sure when you do this. But um, with all that said, a lot of great information, but we've got tons more. We just wanted you to get a taste for it. Um, it's all biblically based. 
Any questions you may have, give us a holler. We'd love to welcome you to our Tradeway family. So thank you for coming on and thank you, Ross. Great. Thanks, everybody. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day, evening. Have a great future. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.